trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. This is even the same horse I sold you. Thanks. I love her. You guys make a great team. So, uh, when's Josh getting you back in town? Gets home on Saturday. It's awesome. Did he, uh, get that, um, contract for his company? Yeah, he did. Yeah. His boss was happy and so was I. Really needed that bonus. It's great. Although... I might be in the doghouse when he gets home. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I went to the horse auction. <laughs> How many horses did you buy this time? Oh, just one. Just one? That's not too bad. You brought home way more before and he hasn't gotten mad. But those were great horses at an even better price. This one, great price, not so much great horse. What is he like? Got three legs, blind, has no teeth. He's got four legs, all right. Pretty sure he's not blind. As far as teeth, I have no idea. Can't get close enough to touch him. Took three guys to load him into the trailer. They couldn't even use the tie down. Did you get him loaded by yourself, okay? Yeah. Drove into the pasture. Swung the door open like a rodeo chute. You know, I'm, I'm expecting him to bolt out of there. No. Throws me a dirty look, walks right out. <laughs> and haven't been able to get close to him since. Oh, well, if anyone can bring him around, it'll be you. Yeah. Not so sure about this one. I don't know. I just saw him in the pen. I don't know, there's just something about him. I better head on home. Need to work up some invoices, decent chores. Hey, Emma. Word is around the barn that uh, you bought yourself a new horse last night? Yep. Whose horse did you buy? Is there something I should know? What? <laughs> that was Gus Cooper's horse. Never heard of it. Gus Cooper of Cooper Ranch. Died a few months back. I figured he drank himself to death, but uh, the big C got him. That was uh, Jimmy Cooper's dad, right? Yep. Who's Jimmy Cooper? Oh, uh, we were best friends all through school. <clears throat> It wasn't like that. We never dated. We were just friends. He'd bring his horse out to ride, and man, he loved that horse. Uh, what was his name? Um, South. Jimmy named him South because he loved running full speed south towards the barn. Oh my gosh, you bought South. Well, if he loved the horse so much, why did his dad sell him? What happened to Jimmy? Um, he was killed about five years ago, car accident. I tried to go out to see his dad, but he already started drinking. Last time I saw him, it got a little scary, so I, I never went back. Yeah, after Jimmy died, well, Gus, he became a mean, bitter old drunk. Wasn't no good to anybody, him or the horse. You know, I, I never seen it myself, but there's some that say that he used to beat that poor horse. And, well, the county sheriff was out once. But they could just never prove nothing. Well, there was a state sale last week, biggest one I've ever seen. I bought one of his five tractors. 
everything was sold. I mean, everything. Everything but that horse, that is. They say it's crazy. Great. South, huh? Yep. I need to get going. Catch you guys later. See you soon. Hey, my turn to bring coffee. All right. <laughs> <laughs>What you think of him? Well, from where I was standing, it was like another mouth to feed. I'll tell you what, you work with him for a bit. We'll see in a few weeks if you still think he's worth the trouble. You thought I was worth the trouble? There's just something about you. <laughs> hey, sometimes all it takes is someone to believe in you. coming along um no changes yet hey uh, who's that guy out there wandering around Excuse me, can I help you? Are you Sarah Appleton? I am. James Caldeva, Broadway Bank. We hold the note to your little barn here. You've been sent four notices. Wait, what is he talking about? I've been having a little trouble with payments lately. Lately, as in the past four months? You have exactly 30 days to pay all back payments, including interest. We also require that you pay the next two months at that time. I will see you in 30 days. Pick up your payment or your keys. The choice is yours. You two have a great day. No, God's got this. He doesn't bring you to it without helping you through it. Okay? Yeah.
I don't know. I mean, I've been praying, but I, I don't understand. If God's got a plan, I'm not seeing it. I've been running this barn since my parents passed away. Now I'm gonna lose it. You no, know, we don't always see it or understand it. We just have to put it in God's hands. I'm looking for Sarah Appleton. That's me. I'm Kimberly Davenport from the Smith Wardle Law Firm. I'm the estate attorney for the late Gus Cooper. Okay, uh, I don't understand. Um, have a seat. You're listed in our client's will. Upon his death, we are to bring you this check for $30,000. I'm sorry, what is that smell? Uh, it's a horse barn. Oh. I, I'm, I don't understand. Why would Gus Cooper leave me money? When Mr. Cooper found out he was dying, he found God or religion or whatever, and he put down the bottle and he picked up praying. A lot of good that did him. He always talked about going home to see his son, and he said his son would want you to have the money. Now, I have another place that I really would much rather be. So if you could please sign there, it indicates you've received the check and I need to see a form of identification. You ladies, have a nice day and congratulations, Miss Appleton. Anything is possible with faith, prayer, 
and the love of a good friend. Where I did not feel really In the end, mean old Mr. Cooper found the Lord. And by God's grace, he helped save Sarah's barn. And Mr. Cooper, well, he gave me a friend for life, a horse named South. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>